Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get both the objectives for Thronebreakers with one shot. Um, I'm just going to tell you now, this fight is pretty awful, so I don't feel bad if you have to use uh, items. But I didn't really want to use items just because I, like, I knew I could do it with um, the characters I picked in one shots. So for the X Force, I think it is, I would say use Archangel. Um, try to stay close to him while he's using special attacks so you don't get like the root active. Um, but basically, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why I didn't turn off, but uh, this fight is pretty bad. Um, I get hit. That one thing you'll find probably when you fight this guy is like, it's his animations are weird. Like even if you feel like you're timing your dexes perfectly, like they just don't work for some reason. But um, yeah, you just gotta get decent at attacking while rooted, and basically, you just wanna bait out specials and use special ones to counter with Archangel. I found the special two better to dodge than the special one just because it doesn't put a root on the floor. Um, but my RNG in this fight was pretty bad, um, but I still got the one shot surprisingly. It took me a, a few tries before, but I think he also has, I forgot the node it's called, but the one where like your stuns get um, less and less effective over the fight, like less length to them. I, I know what, you guys know what the node I'm talking about is. I don't know if he has that, but towards the end of this fight, I was not getting long stuns, which kind of sucked. Um, but yeah, you just gotta dodge him and then just keep spamming specials with AA. Um, I'd say he's definitely the best option for the X Force one. Like definitely, uh, I tried Colossus because they were advertising him because he hits both. And I do Colossus isn't good for this fight. I'm just letting you know. Like just don't use Colossus. He's not good. I'd say minimum have like a six star rank three. Maybe 6-star rank 2, max out 5-star Archangel, max boosted, because this fight is kind of rough, but, um, yeah, um, eventually get it, as you can see here, which is nice, but it definitely took a few tries. Uh, you could revive if you want, but you can definitely do it with one try, and the Archangel is just kind of rough. Next one is Doom. Um, this one's a lot easier. I didn't really know how you were supposed to do the infinite sunlock. I was just going into it, and I heard from someone's stream that you can do it. So I was like, how do you do this? You, what you have to do is you have to throw a special first, and then he'll get, switch from unblockable to unstoppable. And once you do that and you nullify it, I also got slapped a little bit in this fight, which is awkward, but I mean, it worked. So once I throw my first special, you'll see he switches to unstoppable, then we can start the stun lock. So you just gotta throw one special. Then that's it, the fight's pretty much over. You just stun lock with Doom. That's two one shots um, to get both Thronebreaker objectives. I know there's one for Paragon, but I'm not Paragon, so I don't know. I, I think I saw KT1 one shot it with Venom. So if you're Paragon, use Venom and just special one. I think he was doing. You'll see there are some times where we don't get the stuns. It's whenever like our first uh, hex or stagger thing. It's like when our first stagger wears off. You can see like right here we won't get a stun. But this happens multiple times with the fight once that first one wears off. And honestly, I don't know if it's like selling his AI, but I don't think he'll ever throw his special three. Look, you'll see it every time. Look, not gonna get a stun here. Just it just his AI just doesn't throw it. I don't know why. It's kind of a long fight. This is a six star rank three, max boosted Doom. Also with the Doom strategy, you do need to have Doom Sig two hundred because what his Sig does is. When you nullify a buff, it guarantees to put a shock on the opponent so you can have a stun. If your Doom isn't SIG 200, then when you nullify a buff, you might not get a shock and you might not be able to cycle um, stuns. And I know at that point, if you get unlucky that many times in a row, he'll definitely throw a special attack. So you do need a SIG 200 Doom. I don't know. I don't think it matters with star. I'm pretty sure you could probably do this with a three star. It might just take ages, but yeah, you just gotta use Archangel and Doom, so... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We could like, comment, and subscribe. Two one shots. This is an awful boss. One of the hardest ones so far out of all the um, eternity of pains. But yeah, um, hopefully this helped you guys out to beat him. And yeah, have a good one. Peace.